Earlier today, 27-year-old Kenrick Longsworth appeared unrepresented before Chief Magistrate Sharon Fraser as onlookers outside of the courtroom jeered and hurled insults at him. The unemployed resident of Lovely Lane is facing a single charge of murder and two counts of grievous harm for grave injuries inflicted on three-year-old Mark Toyol Jr. His siblings, a younger and older brother, were also wounded during a frightening incident that took place at their home on the evening of January 10th. The alleged perpetrator has an extensive history of run-ins with the law. He do have a long rap sheet, including shooting at police. And uh, it's disappointing to see what had happened, where he's concerned, because everyone within that area knows him and knows what he's capable of, but yet still he was able to become a step father for three children. Um, that's a matter that we need to look into as a society. It's something that psychotherapist Jennifer Lovell takes into careful consideration while reflecting on the weekend tragedy. I'm always surprised. I, I, I'm not judging, please. And I'm always surprised when I see women meet a guy and, and just take them in and they have children because you have no idea what you're taking in if you don't know this person. And you can't know a person in a week or in a month. It takes a while to get to, to spend time with the person and get to know them and know what kind of attitudes they have, how they feel about children. You learn that over time. The family of the deceased toddler is on record stating that he was sexually abused. Commissioner of Police Chester Williams, in speaking with the media on Monday, says that the surviving siblings do not exhibit signs of similar cruelty. His comment is based on the findings of doctors who examined them at the Carl Huchner Memorial Hospital. The doctors have examined those two children and there's no sign of them being sexually molested. Of note is that Longsworth has not been charged for any crime of a sexual nature as it relates to this particular incident. It is not to say, however, that additional charges will not be levied on him. There's a difference between being angry and being rageful. Someone who has that depth of rage that you could beat a child to death is a really angry person. And then not only beat the child to death, but use his penis as a weapon to really inflict maximum harm, shame, degradation, control, power, everything negative that you can think about when a man uses his penis as a weapon and on a three-year-old. Longsworth's mother, whom we must stress had nothing to do with the commission of the crime, is herself the victim of various forms of abuse. She insists that her children, Kenrick included, were never subjected to such physical violence. I raised three and without no pa. I raised none. I was so hard for my children. Eh? I can't do that because I love children. So where does that rage, anger and propensity for violence come from? And what could have sparked such a vicious outburst? Do you believe then that perhaps some kind of action or inaction on the part of the kids may have triggered this violent behavior? They're kids. Kids will be kids. Sometimes it might be something as simple as he, um, a, a parent, a babysitter, gives them food and they don't want that kind of food, so they'll throw it down. They'll tr throw it they're kids. He's a three-year-old. And that might have been the one that acted up. The Department of Human Services, says the COMPOL, is critical to the ongoing investigation in order to determine what becomes of the two surviving brothers in the days ahead. Mr. Kowo and Ms. Reese, who are the ones dealing with the investigation, are in constant dialogue with Human Services because, again, they need to look at um, the welfare of the other two children. <laughs> Will a decision be made as to whether or not they remain with the, with the mother or do they have to be relocated? So there are several components that must be, um, that must be allowed to play out. Kenrick Longsworth has been remanded to the Belize Central Prison until March 12th. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.